Hi, welcome back to Element 14 Presents. I'm Katie and in today's episode I'm going to be making a buttonless audio player. Amazing hacks. Inspired designs. Each week, Element 14 Presents brings you innovative projects using electronics, engineering, and more. So quite often, I just want to listen to some music. The easiest option is to just grab a FM radio and turn it on. It will come on to the station I was last listening to. But sometimes I want to listen to something different, change it up a bit, listen to some music instead of the radio or an internet radio station and that tends to involve a lot more button presses it's opening an app on your phone and finding the station or the music or loading it up on a computer and finding finding the what you wanted to listen to so i thought there must be a simpler way can we make a music player which works like the good old fashioned FM radio. Turn it on, tell it what station you want to play and it plays it, but gives you the option to play audio tracks, internet radio stations, uh, playlists, podcasts, or anything else you can think of. So I'm gonna try to do that, making something buttonless or as few buttons as I can make it so it's really quick and easy to use with a simple interface. So let's see how I'm going to do this. So my current plan for this project is I'm going to have a series of NFC tags. These tags will be scanned by the Pi. They'll look up the track or playlist that that tag should initiate. The Pi will then play that through the amplifiers into the speakers. And this speaker amplifier and Pi will all be in a single case. So it will be one nice, neat, finished product. So I've got all the parts I'm going to need for this project. So let's have a look and see what I'm going to use. So for this project, the main part of it's going to be a Raspberry Pi 3 module B+. We've also got the power supply and a micro SD card for that. Then my input for selecting what we want, because I'm doing it buttonless, I'm going to use this NXP NFC uh, Raspberry Pi hat. So that's going to be on top of the Pi. And then we've got these two evaluation kits which looks like a really good way of getting a whole selection and variety of NFC tags. So this one's full of key rings and like a bracelet and this pack is full of cards and stickers. So my current idea is that I'm going to stick the tags and use the cards and use those for selecting what music or internet radio station or which playlist I want to be playing any time. And I'm also thinking I'll use the cards in that pack to do what I'm going to call admin control, so volume up, volume down, and then I don't need any physical buttons for the volume. I may still need a button for the power because I could tag it to shut down, but once it's shut down, I won't be able to read the tag to turn it back on. But that's the only button I'm currently thinking I might need everything else I'm gonna use the cards for. And then the last thing in here, we've got two eight ohm speakers. These are really nice little cute speakers. So that's gonna be our audio out and the components we need to go with this, which is a TDA 7266 audio amplifier, which will drive those two speakers really nicely. So my next task is I'm gonna build up the amplifier so we can check all that's working and then we can go on and start playing with the NFC tags and getting them set up with the software on the Raspberry Pi. Right, so let's have a look at the circuit. So here's the schematic I've designed. We've got the Raspberry Pi over here, the audio output from the Raspberry Pi, the NFC hat and the amplifier. If you'd like to hear me talk in more detail about this, 
then find the video on the Element 14 Presents page. You'll find that at the link below or on element14.com forward slash presents. So now I'm going to put this on breadboard and test it up and see how our amplifier works. So now we've got it on this piece of breadboard. I'm just going to test it. I've got it plugged into my laptop and if I press play, it will play like that. Now it's a little quieter than I'd have hoped for it to be. So I think I'm just going to make a little bit of a preamp stage to feed it into before this. So let's make that. So most of this is the same circuit as before. Just like I said, I've added in this preamp stage. So we're only using three out of the four on the chip. That one's just got the inputs tied to ground so it doesn't cause any interference. The first one is creating a voltage reference point. And then these two is doing audio left and audio right. And it's just giving it a preamp, um, just a basic circuit before it goes into the amplifiers. So I'm going to put that on some breadboard and then we can see how different it is to what it was before. So here's my preamp stage on breadboard. So I'm going to just connect this up and test it again and see if it's any better than it was before. So here goes. So I'm happy with that, that's louder. So now I've tested it on the breadboard, I'm going to put it onto strip board, ready to go inside the case. So here's the case design file. We've got the bottom part and the cover for over the top. Now we've got holes in each end as a speaker grill and holes in the back for heat dispersion, a hole for power switch and a hole for the power cable to go in through. The Raspberry Pi will be mounted here, the breadboard, the amplifier and the speakers one in each end. If you'd like to hear me speak more about this or to see the previous version of it, have a look in the extras file. There I've got more detail, but this is what I'm printing for the project now. So then we can get it all assembled. Are you an engineer, electronics hobbyist or maker? Join the Element 14 community, where you can learn about new products and technologies, see cool projects, and connect directly with the people that make the products and engineers that use them. Join now! So we've got our 3D printed case now out of the printer. So this is ideal. Um, the, the only thing I didn't think about was but when I was doing the first plan with the Pi flat, uh, I'd lined up the power hole. But then when I realized that the three and a half mil jack wouldn't come out of it, and I did the second redesign with the Pi that direction, I didn't reprint the top. Um, and because I was planning on putting the power straight in, um, now there's no way to line the holes up. So I'm just, it doesn't matter for this, I'm just going to um, put the wire through the hole and then connect it inside. I mean, I could make it a bit neater by putting some Sugru or something in the hole to hold the wire. Um, or if I was doing it again, I might think about using like a DC barrel jack uh, and then making a mounting point for that and then routing that on the inside of the case to the power on the pie. I'm not that fussed for this, it's still going to work and it's still not going to look that mad. Um, yeah, so I'm really pleased with how it's come out. We've got the holes there for the NFC reader and mounting points for 
the amplifier, heat sinks and our speakers. So now we can have a go at assembling it all together. So this is the Pi Insider audio player. The NFC hat came with libraries to use, but also came with an example called Tag Read Execute, which would read a tag and tell you the contents. So I've actually taken that example um, and used it for my audio player. So the majority of this code is the example. Just down here, once it's read the tag, it passes what the contents was to this function I've written called start media where it looks at the command on the tag and opens up VLC with the command to run the URL for an internet radio station, find the track on your home directory or start the playlist. So it also does the kill all tag and the code they'd written just checks for a tag to arrive. I've had to set it to kill VLC when it sees a tag arrive because else VLC would be running and it wouldn't be able to act upon a new tag. But this has also stopped me being able to set up the admin tags that I wanted because it can't change the volume because it needs to kill VLC before it can process a new tag. I'd love to have fixed this but I haven't been able to find a way around. If you've got a workaround for this let me know on the community because I'd love to be able to adjust my code for that. So these files I've got running, I've made service files for them and they're running through systemd and then the only other thing I've set up is I'm using Adafruit's GPIO halt to shut down when the power button is pressed. So that's all our code. So the majority of the NFC tags I've got are uh, ST ones. So um, on the packet there was a NFC tag to scan that would automatically download this ST NFC tag app. So this seems really nice and easy. We can just grab a tag and scan it and it will tell us all the tag information, the memory size, what's on the tag. So this is a blank one. So this one is on a key ring. So I'm going to attach this to my car keys. Now, I always listen to the same radio station if I'm traveling in the car. And sometimes I'll come back in the house and want to carry on with what I was listening to. So I'm going to set this one to be the same station as my car. So I'm going to tick here, make a new text record. It's going to be a radio station. So I'm going to do an R and a little comma. And then I've already copied the address for that station. So then I'm going to press the save. It won't save it unless the tag's behind it. So I'm going to scan the tag and press save. And that one is now set up for that station. So I'm going to attach that to my car keys. So what would you set your tags to? Let me know in the community. I'd be interested to find out. I was thinking with the ability to set tracks, you could leave a track for someone as a surprise. So you could upload it to the Pi and then put the title on a tag and leave it lying around for someone to have a surprise. See what song you've left them, maybe? Or a whole playlist, a bit like uh, an old giving someone a cassette. You could give someone a tag which will give a whole playlist that might be quite a nice thing to do so yeah let me know what you'd do with yours so now we've got the software on the pi we've got our tags all set up let's see it all working so here it is now we've assembled it all up and we've programmed our tags up so let's see how it works I take something like my bracelet tag, place it on the top. We can stop it. Or 
Instead, I could go for a track that's on the pie's storage instead. So, fairly pleased with that. The only thing that you might be able to hear is that there's a like clicking noise. So if I start this one off. There's a light clicking. Now, I noticed if I opened it up, a lot of that clicking noise goes. So I was wondering, I started off thinking it might have been noise from the speakers or noise rattling the case with the speaker grills. However, uh, I've actually just done some more tests and it's noise from the NFC reader reading being picked up on this cable to the amplifier. So I'm not sure quite what to do with that. Um, I don't know if some shielding might stop that. Um, if you know, let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions of what I could try. I have noticed that if I scan the tag and remove it i've set it up that it will continue playing but the ticking gets more frequent and louder if i leave the tag on it it's less noticeable uh, i think that's probably because if there's no tag there then it's probably doing more scans at maybe a higher power to try to read a tag than if it's can already see one so it's all working um, the volume also is a bit loud, um, I could adjust that with a pot inside, it'd be really nice to get the volume tags working properly, but that was that other slight issue with the NFC code, so yeah, need to have a look at that in a bit more detail. But other than that, it plays the music just like I'd like it to. So I'm really pleased with how it's come out. We've got a music player with no buttons that reacts off NFC tags. It plays music. It's got the few issues with the interference going through to the amplifiers from the NFC reader. I'd really like to make filter that out or shield that off. And I'd quite like to be able to get admin tags working for volume control. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. It's a music player and it will just play at the touch of a tag. So that's all we've got time for today. But I'd love to know if you've done something with NFC tags in the past or if you're planning to in the future. Let me know on the Element 14 community at element14.com forward slash presents. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.